Congenital coronary anomalies refer to structural abnormalities of the coronary arteries that are present from birth. These anomalies can contribute to an increased risk of myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack. Here's how congenital coronary anomalies can lead to myocardial infarction. 1. Coronary artery abnormalities. Congenital coronary anomalies encompass a range of abnormalities, including variations in the origin, course, and branching patterns of the coronary arteries. For example, a common anomaly is the anomalous origin of a coronary artery, where one or both coronary arteries arise from a different location than the typical anatomy. These abnormalities can lead to compromised blood flow to the heart muscle, increasing the risk of myocardial infarction. 2. Impaired blood supply. The structural abnormalities in the coronary arteries can affect their ability to supply oxygenated blood to the heart muscle adequately. In some cases, the abnormal course of the coronary artery may result in compression or kinking, leading to reduced blood flow or even complete blockage of the artery. This diminished blood supply can result in ischemia, a condition where the heart muscle doesn't receive sufficient oxygen and nutrients, ultimately leading to myocardial infarction. 3. Vulnerability to stressors. Congenital coronary anomalies can make the affected coronary arteries more vulnerable to various stressors. Physical exertion, emotional stress, or other triggers that increase the demand for oxygen by the heart muscle can further strain the compromised blood flow. The combination of reduced blood supply and increased oxygen demand can tip the balance and result in myocardial infarction. It's important to note that not all individuals with congenital coronary anomalies will experience myocardial infarction. The severity of the anomaly and the presence of additional risk factors can influence the likelihood of developing a heart attack. Some individuals may remain asymptomatic throughout their lives while others may experience symptoms such as chest pain, angina, shortness of breath, or even sudden cardiac arrest. Diagnosis and management of congenital coronary anomalies involve a comprehensive evaluation by cardiologists, often including imaging techniques such as coronary angiography, computed tomography, CT, or magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. Treatment approaches may vary depending on the specific anomaly and its impact on blood flow. In some cases, interventions such as coronary artery bypass grafting, CAB, or percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, may be necessary to restore blood flow and reduce the risk of myocardial infarction. Regular medical follow-up, lifestyle modifications, and adherence to medication regimens, such as blood pressure and cholesterol management, are crucial for individuals with congenital coronary anomalies to minimize the risk of complications, including myocardial infarction. The management of congenital coronary anomalies requires a personalized approach, and the treatment plan should be discussed with a qualified healthcare professional.